In this video, we're going to talk about an email autoresponder called Sendlane. Now, Sendlane is one of several email autoresponders, and it's a way you can collect information in terms of contact information, building your list for an online business, and emailing your list, your offer, or any type of information. Now, having an email autoresponder in 2020 is still important because you want to be able to email every single day your information, your offer, your brand. In this video, we're going to go over the basic fundamentals of Sendlane. We're only going to talk about contacts and building a list, just creating a list. I'll have other videos coming out in terms of more detailed information of Sendlane. My name is Adam Shelton and welcome to the video today. Now, if you have not yet, hit that red subscribe button right below this video and don't forget to hit that bell notification when I do videos just like this. Now, you know what time it is. Let's talk about it. How to get started with Sendlane and just using in terms of creating a list and looking at the content. So, let me go ahead and log into Sendlane and right below this video, I do have some information for you can go ahead and start your Sendlane account today. So, I'm going to go ahead and log in. This is one of my, I think I've got two accounts of Sendlane. So I'm going to go ahead and log into this and show you the basic fundamentals of Sendlane. So let's log in right now. And let me go ahead and dismiss that. And voila, when you log into Sendlane, this is the dashboard that it has. Here's the audience growth, where basically when you're adding in subscribers, the revenue engagement. So this is where you email your list. And this is how the actually engagement, the opens, the clicks and the campaign revenue this is your open rate click through rate and how emails send out now this is one of two accounts that i have with sendlane so this is kind of like more of a practice account that i have with sendlane and then you also have the date that you're sending it out and you also have your scheduled campaign so you can actually schedule your campaigns so i just want to go over the dashboard this right here the basic basic fundamental your recent sent campaigns your schedule your audience growth when you're just adding in subscribers and unsubscribers as well because that shows up there and your revenue engagement now right here we're just going to go over just the context and creating a list very very basic so we want to click on audience and that's first let's look at contacts now contacts is where you can import your contacts and right here you can go here and click on new contact when you click on new contact you can actually begin to add in your information right here. So you can actually, you actually can go ahead. This is the list. Hold on, let, let me go to list first. I'm gonna go to list first and then we'll go to context. So if you wanna create a new list, you just go right here. Go right here, you can say test, testing. So we're gonna create a list and this is a way you can have all your subscribers and all your context that goes, in, goes into this actually list. So this is so much easier when you're adding in a context. So that's why I want to do a list first so we can create the list and then we can add contacts and subscribers to that list. Now you want to be very detailed in your list when you're creating it. But since this is a testing video, I'm going to put testing and subscriber reminder is basically said you are receiving this email because you subscribe to to receive email from abc company now this is a subscriber reminder so when someone adding to the list it's going to show up show up at the bottom of the email so you can have subscriber reminders so you can put information in there so now i've got a list the next thing i want to go ahead and do is if i if i have some subscribers from another email autoresponder or if i just want to add in one or two names in here i will go into click on import now import would be Hold on, let me go ahead. Let me go here. Let me go first to. I'm gonna go to add contact first. Add contact if I'm just adding one person. So if I'm adding one person, I can just do. I'm gonna do a test. Let's say I'm gonna add in this email person. It's called test at test.com. Let's just do this. And we're gonna add in Jan. And we add in Brady, right? Let's say her name is there. Phone number, you can leave this optional. If you know their person's phone number, you can put it in there. So I'm gonna just put in a, a test one. And a tag is basically, if you want to, this 
type of content to be tagged under Pacific information. You can do that, but leave that blank if you don't know tags. So we can go over that in future videos. So you can go ahead and create this and check it out. We got Jan Brady. We got test at test.com and it was added today. Check that out. And you can click on view profile. I click on the view profile and see if it, and it actually shows like a little information about them. Look at that. And no tags. We didn't know what custom fields yet. And the list name. This is the list name that we created in there. So go back here and let's say go like list. And there it is right there. So that's testing. And now let's go back to testing. We can add more contacts in testing. So we can actually import. So if you have import file in here, we actually import a file. So when you click on this, it's going to say click drop your file to upload your 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 basic your list. So you can go ahead and drag your information or you can copy and paste your actually email. So you can actually copy and paste your emails as well. So very, very basic. You can actually import them from a file or you can actually go ahead and copy and paste it. So that's the base. That's it. That's pretty much it in terms of a of a actually contact. And you can go to settings here. You can change information in here to update your list as well. So your contacts is let me go back to contacts is exactly what it says. So if let's say we want to add another contact, we can go. Here's the list name that we built. We built this list name. You can actually add in another person. So you can add in um, testing one, two, three. We add that in there. We can do this time John Blake. And we'll leave this blank and we'll leave this blank. And this is gonna go right to the list of testing. So we do text there and voila. If you go back to testing, if you go to contacts, it shows the name here. And if you go to list and go to testing, you see them right here. These are the two ones we added in right here. See how see how simple that is? And you also can remove a contact if you need to. You can remove them all contacts in here. We can actually import more information. Like so, if we have a list, if you have a CSV file with contacts from Excel file, CSV, CSV file, more than likely CSV file, CSV file, definitely. We ask them to export these contacts if we needed to by clicking export. And it actually tells you exactly which one you want to do. Export to text file, export as a CSV file. And the custom audience is basically it. You have to be ingrained through Facebook. So you can leave that blank for now. We may talk about that in future videos since this is a testing video. So we're only going to go over contacts and lists. One thing I will show you is that you want to make sure your settings is set up as well. So you want to make sure your setting is set up as well. Make sure you have an email address a valid email address and I advise you to get a domain email address something that does not include Gmail or Yahoo or AOL anything like that make sure it is a branded domain email for Sendlane. I can't say that enough make sure that is and then you bring basically make sure your information is is in here correctly and um, before you even begin adding in context and listing, just make sure that's all set up. But that should be set up when you go ahead and create your account. So when you create your account for the first time, you will have to fill out this information out as well. So I can go back and edit and actually throw in my address in here. Um, we'll go ahead and do there. So how, how I did that, save. And my save changes is already there as well. So. In this video, I just want to keep it basic. We talked about contacts, lists, and then we ended up double checking to make sure my settings is correctly, which it is. And we just adding in our address here. And uh, we also briefly talked about the dashboard, pretty much basic information in terms of when you when you log in, your audience group with your subscribers, your revenue engagement, and your recent sync campaigns. We'll go over campaigns in another video. And your schedule campaigns as well will show up there. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and log off here. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Basic training on Sin Lane, where to do, where to start in terms of your context and list and what that means. And right below this video, you can go ahead and sign in for your free account for Sin Lane. Go ahead and sign up. And I think it has a um a, a, a trial actually. 
So click on the link below to go ahead and sign in for your Sendlane account. And you can ha actually have up to 100 contacts, up to 100 contacts. And after that, you will have to do the page subscription as well. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Share this message. You feel like this can help you. And I'll see you on the next video.